Hey, what's up guys, Mark here. Have you ever been scrolling TikTok and you came across the most cringiest TikTok financial videos you could have ever imagined? Or on the other hand, have you ever scrolled TikTok and you came across something that was actually valuable and full of beneficial information? Well, in today's video, this is gonna be my reaction to the hashtag wealth talk on TikTok. Are you ready? Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna bring TikTok up on the screen and we're gonna go through this together. I have not seen these videos ahead of time. So this is gonna be our reaction together. Whenever you have a reaction to a specific video, drop it in the comments because I'd love to hear what you have to say as well. You ready? Let's go. All right, rich bitch mindset. Let's see what it says. You are on your way to unlocking a ferocious rich bitch. And honestly, I'm loving it. So let's make sure our mindset is aligned. Never say I am broke. Make sure that you say I am on my way to financial abundance. When you can't afford something, don't say oh, I can't afford it. Think to yourself, how am I gonna afford this? And remind yourself, I'll be affording this soon. And whenever you spend money, make sure you affirm that it's coming back to you triple fold. These three ways are for sure gonna make sure that you unlock that rich bitch that you're so destined to be. Keep up the good work. That was actually not a bad video. In the beginning, with the whole rich bitch mindset, that was a little cringy, I'm not gonna lie. But the content that she gave, the education that she gave, the instruction on how to manifest some of that good vibes in your life, that was actually pretty good. So uh, I'll give this one a thumbs up. I've been in business for myself for the last 23 years. I'm gonna share four tips that you won't find in the business books. Number one, show up. Show up when you don't want to, show up when no one's looking, show up when the cameras are off, show up and don't expect others to do the same. Number two, play the long game. Everyone is looking for the get rich quick scheme, the shortcut, the hack, play the long game. It's gonna take longer than you think, but it's worth it. Number three, you are not owed anything. The world doesn't owe you wealth, it doesn't owe you happiness, and it doesn't owe you love. However, you do have the power to go out, create it. Number four, be grateful for everything and appreciate everyone. If you don't appreciate your first $50 day, you're not gonna appreciate your first $50,000 day. If you don't know how to appreciate and lead a team of three people, you're never gonna be able to lead a team of 300 people. Start each day with gratitude and have your team do the same. That was actually really good. That was a very good value packed, uh, beneficial video that you can actually take uh, applicable applicable information and go ahead and use it starting today. I really appreciated that video. That was a good uh, wealth talk video. Thumbs up for that one. Let me go ahead and follow her. Kathy Wood is dubbed one of the best stock pickers in the world. She is one of the co-founder of ARK Investments, an asset management company that prospects and analyzes next generation and disruptive technology, like deep learning, automation, digital wallets, and so much more. One of her major funds is up over 400% since 2014. Also, something most folks don't know, she was a major figure to influence Elon Musk to keep Tesla public after he considered taking the company private after this tweet. I read ARK's big idea analysis for 2021 so you don't have to. It's 112 pages of jam-packed insight and sensory overload, and I'll break it down in several parts for you so that way you can understand the next generation technology that's changing the world around us. Make sure you tap that plus button. That was button actually a good value-driven uh, TikTok post. The guy Ash M. Power, he gave information he gave uh, a little bit of some background history on Elon Musk, and then he gave a, an important CTA at the end, a call to action. This guy said, I read the book for you. I'll give you the answers. Make sure you click and follow. That was a good, I'll give a double thumbs up for that, and I'll make sure I go ahead and follow this gentleman right here, Ash Empower. Good job, Ash. And every day I use my card, and then if I pay the bill in full or part of the bill, my credit score goes up. So I'm building credit while I'm using that credit card. And if tomorrow, and I'll do everything to protect my information, but if tomorrow someone gets my card number and charges $1 million on my credit card by federal law, my liability is zero. I have no liability. So yes, I love to shop online. I don't use a special card, I just use my credit card. When you use your debit card, you're exposing the money in your account. The only person who's going to get robbed is you. When you use your debit card, you could use it for the next 50 years, 20 times a day, you will not raise your credit score by that much. And of course, when you use your debit card, 
you are liable up to a certain amount and it takes a while in order to this was a video that i've seen many many times i actually looked up the gentleman who is uh speaking in this video i forget his name off the top of my head but apparently there were some uh conspiracies some allegations that he was a little bit of a fraudster uh, but overall, pretty good information. I do agree with using your credit card rather than your debit card because it does hedge against some of those risks. People don't have access directly to your money. If anything were to happen with a credit card, you can always call the credit card company. They're more likely to help you out if uh, you know somebody gives you a bad uh, service or bad product or, or tries to scam you. They'll go ahead and help you out and refund that money for you. So I do agree with that. I'll, I'll give, that with, get, give that a thumbs up, the Wealth School. Okay, okay, I'll give it to her. The average millionaire has seven sources of income. Now, my millionaire mentor who uh, brings in easy seven figures every single year, he says something contrary to what this woman is saying right here. I don't know who this woman is. I don't know if she's a millionaire. I don't know how long she's been a millionaire. I don't know if she's a cash flow millionaire, which means it's not just that you sell a million dollars worth of products, but that you get deposited into your account a million dollars. Um, my millionaire mentor tells me you have to have a Mississippi river. And out of that Mississippi river, that one main thing, all the other little rivers you can build off of that right but if you have uh, uh, a stream here and a stream there and a stream there and a stream there and you're doing six different things that could stretch you and it could take your mind off of what the main thing is so uh, my millionaire my millionaire mentor always tells me hey mark keep the main thing the main thing build that mississippi up so that it flows nice and heavy and then let the other streams come to you so that I, i'll give her a thumbs up because it was good information she's encouraging she's motivated she actually gave what her different streams of income are. So uh, yeah, we'll give you a thumbs up. Addison uh, Jarman, we'll give you a follow as well. I'm gonna show you the most common way to buy a home in New Zealand and the process behind it with the help of Batman. First thing that you need to do is organize finance. So either go direct to the bank or mortgage broker who can help you. And it typically takes around about five to 10 working days. At that point, you are pre-approved, which lasts 60 to 90 days. And most commonly, most people would find a home within that time frame. At that point, you will talk to a real estate agent that you're interested in this property and negotiate on a price. And this is where you'll outline your other conditions, such as a limb report or the builder's report or any other conditions that you may have. So you decide on what that time frame is, typically five to 15 working days. If you're happy and satisfied with all these conditions that's ticked off during that time frame, then you put in an unconditional offer. At that point, you make a 10% deposit. From there, you're waiting for settlement, which is the day that you move in. During that time, you will negotiate uh, cashback rates and how you want to structure your mortgage. And settlement date is the day that you move in with your partner. If you like these mortgage tips, then please do hit that follow button and comment below. Batman That will was answer. very confusing. I didn't really catch anything the guy said. I was kind of focused on Batman, and then he threw the Joker in there, and then he was moving a box, and then he had Elon's Musk's, Elon Musk's book up there. To me, uh, aside from his accent, which, which was a little hard to understand, but I can get past that. It was uh, a little low energy, a little mumbly. It was, it was hard to understand. I, I don't know if you listened to that, if you got anything from that, but my simple brain could not follow all of his instructions all the way through the video. All I heard was, um, so I'll probably give that guy a thumbs down. Um, your financial engineer. He sounds like an engineer. He sounds like, you know, maybe he is... Uh, uh, you know, a wealthy engineer, maybe he's making a good, good amount of money with his job, but having a hard time getting his message across on TikTok. Okay, moving on. So I want to talk about this comment because it's a hundred percent spot on. So in response to Caitlin yesterday, I told her to put at least 10% of her monthly nut into some type of long-term or short-term savings account. I think that's a great place to start when you are just fresh out of college, figuring out your budget. However, you want to at some point stop putting money into a savings account and actually start investing that money and making that money work for you, which is why this comment is so important to understand. Once you have put in at least three to six months, and I do recommend six months of expenses into a high yield savings account, the rest of it really doesn't need to sit in there too. The rest of your money should be going into one, a 401k where you're maxing out the match that your company is offering, investing directly in the stock market, 
and other long-term retirement accounts like Roth IRAs. Diversifying where your money is going at a young age is going to help you long-term. And ultimately, the earlier you start investing, the more wealth you'll be able to generate throughout your life. Overall, not a bad video. She's recommending a minimum of six, three to six months of emergency fund, which is recommended if you follow Dave Ramsey, that's what he preaches. And then starting to build uh, some type of retirement plan, a 401k and then a Roth. Now here's one other thing that my wealthy mentor teaches me. There's something called good, better, and best. Never let it rest until good becomes better and better becomes best. Now in our world, financial education, life insurance, annuities, uh, we teach that a 401k is a good start. It's a good start and um, it's a good place to put your money rather than keeping it in a shoebox underneath your mattress, right? A Roth IRA is a little bit better, right? Because it is tax free, right? You can grow it tax free. And then uh, the best, not a lot of people talk about, but is a high cash value, a properly structured high cash value life insurance policy, uh, which is the best solution because there are no limits. You can keep that money tax-free, tax-free distribution and tax-free rollover to your beneficiary. So overall, pretty good. Maybe she's just not educated on life insurance overall, but I, I say it's a value-packed uh, TikTok video and uh, we'll give her a follow as well. I dead ass refused to be broke this year, so I went to Walmart, got some envelopes, gonna write one to 150 on all of the envelopes, and then gonna pull one whenever it's time to save some money, then put that dollar amount inside the envelope. There's my present on the table, moved my mask. Remember, we're in a pandemic, wear your mask. So I tried to write it on camera, but that shit looked like chicken scratch. I don't know how y'all do that. So I went ahead and wrote it off camera, shuffled it up for you. Here's me showing you shuffled. I went ahead and put it back inside the box. The new 75 was right there, so I went ahead and tucked that back in the middle so I wouldn't know what any of them were when I went ahead and selected an envelope for the time. And I went ahead and selected one for right now on camera, and it was 62. Oops, my bad. Kind of said it before. There's me getting money out the wallet, putting it inside the envelope. Going to put that envelope inside a separate box and not going to touch it until me and my boyfriend are all done. I can't wait to show you guys on camera how much money it's going to be. Uh, interesting, a little confusing. I guess what he's doing is he's following the envelope system. Envelope system is you write out an envelope from one to 100 and you put uh, the amount of uh, whatever that number is on that envelope, that's how much money you put in that envelope. And after you fill all of the envelopes up, you will have a decent uh, amount of savings built up and then you can do whatever you want with it, hopefully. You don't go and spend it because then you have to start all over again, but you can take that money and go ahead and invest it in some type of uh, high yield savings or uh, compound interest account, which is our recommendation, uh, our recommended strategy. Now, the problem with that is it's like putting your money in a bank. There's very low interest. Uh, you don't really accrue interest long period of time. The average bank account only gives you 0.04 to 0.06%. And if you uh, just stick it in an envelope, you're not getting any interest whatsoever. Now, the better option would be to obviously either a 401k or an IRA, a Roth IRA, but the best option would be setting yourself up with a high cash value life insurance policy. You can do that for you know $100 a month and start to build yourself up a beautiful, beautiful tax-free retirement uh, when you are ready to retire. So, but overall, not too bad. I'll give them a follow. I know I had all the millions and I didn't even have a credit card. The dumbest. I was like the dumbest person ever. I used to just spend money on everything. Man, please. Yeah. Please. I'm, I'm going to open up insurance, put two, three million in my insurance, and borrow from that and put it back in. Mm -hmm. I never lose my money, ever. What Walker's talking about in the video is about becoming your own bank, protecting, preserving, and growing your money income tax free, just like the wealthy in the banks have been doing for well over 200 years. Now it's your turn. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that money that you're currently placing into the banks, the 401ks, the IRAs. Instead, you're gonna place it into a properly structured high cash value life insurance policy, which is also known as an uninterrupted compound interest account, where you're gonna earn seven to 10% annually without ever risking any loss inside of the market, my friends. And let's say once you get to $100,000 in, in principal and saved up into this account, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a loan from your $100,000 principal. You're not withdrawing it, but you're taking a loan from it. That way it's still gonna be in the market. It's still gonna be gaining uninterrupted compound interest. 
Let's say you take that $100,000 loan, you go and purchase another asset. Let's say you go and get into real estate, my friend. So now you have that same $100,000 working in two different places for you. You, my friend, have now become your own so bank. if you're interested in learning how you too can leverage this same strategy as the banks and as the wealthy, go ahead and click the link in my bio to schedule a free strategy session. And be sure you smash that plus sign to go ahead and follow. In regards to this particular video, Waka is a very, very famous rapper. And he is even promoting using life insurance rather than going out and buying all the fancy cars and fancy houses and all the bling, which is just material things that will uh, eventually just wither away. Go and set yourself up a properly structured high cash value, secure compound interest account, and grow your wealth exponentially rather than going and wasting it on frivolous things. What a great place to end the video. This is actually one of my coaches as well and one of my business partners, Jesse Moon, Unleashed Legacy. Make sure you go ahead and follow his account. But he is basically preaching what, what I talk about on a lot of my TikToks as well is taking your money, is leveraging high cash value life insurance and then taking a secure loan out from whatever you have in your cash value and using it to purchase another uh, income producing asset. This is what the wealthy have been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years and it's just not taught in school. It's not taught in colleges. Your parents haven't taught you. Your grandparents haven't taught you and it's simply because they didn't know what they didn't know. But uh, it's great because this is what my channel is about. This is what our TikTok is about. This is what Jesse's channel is about as well. Um, and we like to educate middle class America. We don't have any courses to sell. We don't have any books to sell you yet. But we do have free information. So just like Jesse said, if you are interested in learning more about that particular way of saving and investing and, and, and uh, growing your wealth for a tax-free retirement, Go ahead and you can do several things. There's some links down in my description here. You can go on my TikTok as well. Click the link in the bio, set up a free strategy session. Or if you've seen anybody that you liked on this TikTok, uh, you know, reaction video, go ahead and reach out to them as well uh, just for some information. Guys, I really appreciate you jumping on this uh, reaction video for wealth talk on TikTok. If you do like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and uh, do all that other stuff that you're supposed to do on people's YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and share this video with a friend and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.